Hello, hello. Um, I am Sam, aka Useless Miwa, and we are going to do a super, super fast, no nonsense tutorial on Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. First things first, I wanted to create a very basic tutorial for students or people who are trying to learn uh, Unreal. I have this third person character, and he can go up and he can go down. Um, this is all tied to the Unreal's enhanced input system. So here is the end result of what we're going to be making today. If this is not what you're looking for, then, um, you know, I would click off. But right, let's get started. So in our th default third person content, we have this folder called actions and it's full of input action mappings. And all you have to do to make one of these is right click in here and create a new input action. I've named my new one Descend, and there is nothing in here. We are going to go to our input mapping context, open this up, and you'll see in here all of the input mapping contexts uh, together and what they do. So move, WASD, um, jump, and our new one Descend, which I have added some inputs to. Do a new input mapping tie it to our new descend input action and set the key value to left control and left shift that's it left shift and left control will now make our character move down so how do we make this character flying because we have a normal character in third person even if we set that up and we press those inputs they're just going to walk around first before we get to the enhanced input mapping we need to set our character's movement mode to flying. And this is super simple. So I've created a sequence up here, and it's literally just called a sequence, which allows you to essentially cast multiple things off of uh, one of these um, functions. Right, so I'm going to take our character movement here and the left panel and drag it onto my screen, and I'm going to just do set movement mode. That's it, and I'm gonna pick this drop down and go to flying. And now, on the event begins playing, our character will be automatically put in flying mode. I'm gonna go all the way to the uh, eh, all the way to the bottom. And normally, the enhanced input jump is set to something along the lines of jump, and then completed. Stop jump, something like that, right? But all we want to do, since we're flying up and down, very simple is add movement, input. At a scale of one, we are going to go up by five units. And the same thing here with our input descend, which we can grab by doing IA underscore descend. We're doing Add movement input at a scale of negative five since we're going down and we're going to compile and save. In the character movement um, details panel here, we can find our character movement flying drop down. These are the default values. I want to change it to 500 so we're a little slower. And I'm going to increase our air friction. This is our air friction is 300 and you don't have to do that you can make your character super slidey um, but that's it this is it the tutorial is over that is how you do this um i made a robot character and it's just a little maybe wheatley sized robot character and all it does is fly uh <laughs> so uh hopefully this helped you if you are a beginner like i am and you just feel kind of maybe a little dumb now <laughs> like I like I did um but yeah should be it um just for reference this is what my character looks like they just fly around in this space um yeah 
All right. Well, if this video helped you, drop a comment. Um, if you're wondering about anything specifically, uh, let me know. Uh, feel free to ask in the comments, like maybe how am I having this camera locked while making my character move like this? Maybe how can I do this? Um, right, because I love making tutorials like this that are short and sweet. All right. Thanks.